It's a nil-nil draw at Bloomfield Road, another away performance that deserved more than a point? Definitely. I mean, I thought first half we were sublime at times. I think we were outstanding, you know, the way we, we moved the ball. And let's not forget, these are the form team of the league as well. I'm being beaten. They're a good side, cause you problems, but I thought we were outstanding first half. We're just, we're probably that far away from being an outstanding side from start to finish. If we'd got, you know, a little bit cutting edge first half and got the goal, who knows what would have happened, you know. Second off, we weren't quite as as dominant, but we still had chances, still had chances to have uh, to have won the game. The first half performance was 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 wonderful. I was very very proud of him, uh, and it's just we're just missing that little bit of killer edge at the minute. And if we, if we get that, then we'll be some side. That's all that was missing from the first 45 minutes, really, wasn't it? You, you couldn't fault anything really in that play. Not at all. I mean, we defended from start to finish. We defended well from you know from back to front, and then with where we moved the ball, the opportunities we got, the, the interplay, the, the combination, it just was. Was was superb. I mean, it was. I was proud of them, and, and that's what we work on constantly. And as I said, considering the level of opposition we played today, with threats all over, I, I thought we were brilliant. I really did, and we deserved far more. But if we don't take chances and we don't have that, you know, cutting edge, and we work so hard on it, um, then you know, we, we we leave ourselves open. But praise the Lord, today we kept a clean sheet. It's two on a bounce now for us, so you know we're adjusting nicely to that level defensively. And, uh, and as I said, I, I was just pleased with the overall performance. And it's a real shame because we deserved far, far more. You talked about the, the killer instinct and the killer touch there. It just did come to that on a couple of occasions, didn't it? Where it just needed that finish or it needed a, a little bit of luck to go our way. James Collins tripping over in the second half. Elliot shot saved by the keeper. You know, it just wasn't to be, was it? Well, look, we, we, we know what we want to be. We know what we want to finish. And we know, what, you know in time where we want to be. So if, you, if you've got to be, we need that cutting edge. We need it because the way we play, you know, is is very very brave and it's bold and it requires good footballers and we have that. It's just that's all we lacked because it would have been a complete performance today. And look, I've watched so many games of Blackpool's, you know, in terms of one five games preparing for this game and obviously when they overlap with teams we played, and they haven't been as as blunt as that in any game. So that's credit to us because it's not that like they've had an off day. We've just been very very good and to come in away performance and put in the, the, the uh, put in the level that we did. I'm, I'm very very pleased because I said these are these these ain't a bad side. Um, you mentioned there are a couple of chances. The keepers made one or two saves at the other end. James had very little to do as far as actual saves to make as he one tipped over the bar in the first half. Yeah, from distance, which if I'd gone in, I'd have gone on and punched him. So I don't think anything that was really a, a level of, of the opportunity. But look, it was more to do with us. The keepers made a few saves, to be fair, but it's more to do with the, with the real opportunities we've had, you know, and maybe we haven't quite tested him as much as we could. And balls across, they've defended last ditch, they've been, you know, and if we've had just that little bit more conviction conviction in certain things. Pelly's gone through, Jack, Jack Stacey's gone through, in and around the box we've been so much. Elliot Lee's come inside and normally you know, he puts those away. We worked on it yesterday because we've put all, put about six or seven people in, the, studied the chances that we've had. So yesterday we did a shooting session where we put everyone in the positions that they normally are and Elliot Lee was in that position yesterday 25 times, you know. So it's, it's, it's just, that's the only frustrating thing because on a level of performance, I'll go and I'll, watch, I'll enjoy watching that. I'll enjoy watching how we moved. I'll enjoy watching our structure. I'll enjoy watching how we, without being disrespectful to anyone, carved, carved them open at times. And it's just that that little bit we need. You know, we've got a few attacking players out and, uh, um, and, and goal scorers out. You know, and Perry and Hilton, which we might need that competition because they might scare the living daylights into you know, one or two of the front men to that they got to step up. They have to nick goals and, and so on. But that's the only thing we're lacking at the minute because our play, everything we do, our work rate. Are we press, our bravery, everything about us at the minute, I'm, I'm very, very pleased. We're at a very good level. It's trying to weigh it up, isn't it, between the frustration of not taking the chances and, and not having the, the clinical edge and being pleased with the way that they've played on so many games this season and you're talking about should have come away with more rather than we didn't, you know, we've lost the game. Yeah, and look, we are because I don't want that to, to you know, to cost us late on in the season where we're looking back and thinking if only, if only, if only. Now we have, we've talked about Doncaster away where we were the better side comfortably, should have won. Portsmouth away, we should have. Here, look, we've got a point. It's a difficult place to come to, and we played some difficult sides, you know, at the minute. We've played, you know, the, the ones that, you know, that we've played of all, are all up here, um, so, and we've played them all away, so we've equipped ourselves very, very well. So it's, it's hard to be too disappointed, but it can't continue, is what I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying. So we, we have to have a clinical edge. Something has to change in front of goal, because the amount we're creating, I don't see anyone else creating that level of chances, or if I do, 
it's the odd team, you know. That Doncaster were that type, they were creating until they played us. Um, no other team is creating the level that we are in the games I'm watching. But we're just going through that little, little period at the minute. And you're hopeful that when those goals start, maybe the floodgates will open and uh, we'll go on a run of games where we do get the goals and we do get the wins. Well, look, I'd be happy to score every game one more than the opposition. But with the level we're creating, and it's not just the volume of chances, but the level of chances. We're not creating real difficult ones. Not we're having to shoot from the outside the box and it's flashing past. We're in the box, we're getting real opportunities. It's play the last stage, we're getting behind people. You know, we're countering really well. It's just a, that little bit of, it's just that final little thing, that little bit of cutting edge. It's all, all we're lacking. And, that's, that's the thing. And with the injuries that you've got uh, at the moment and with the, the team winning last week, it was perhaps not surprising it was an unchanged starting 11 today. Was there any thoughts or changes that you've been... Not at all, at? not at all, because look, without being disrespectful to anyone, that's probably the youngest bench in the Football League today in, in, in terms of everything we, we had. We, we know we're, we know we're depleted with, with not so many attacking options, but with plenty of defensive ones, you know, people like uh, you know, she and uh, James Justin, Jack Senior to come on if we needed to. So we knew it, it, it's just, we only probably had Harry on to come on to really give us an impetus um, um, today when, when we probably need a little bit more. So we're looking forward to getting, you know, your Hilton's back, your Barry's back. We're looking forward to that. We're, we're hoping to add one, which is uh, will be a positive um, um, for us. And then, you know, uh, uh, having a full squad back because we're light, we've been light, um, but as I said, we're, we're putting in excellent performances and we're in a good place. You dropped a hint there, looking to add one, um, I know you're not going to tell us too much more, but confident that it may happen this week? Or? Yeah, hopefully, because I said we need to add something different, so we, we want to do that um, with, the, with the injury to Eunan. Um, we've, you know, we've, we're probably a body down and, and body light, which is ironic for us because normally we've, be, we've always got good bodies, we've got good squad, and, and it's usually a real difficult squad to pick. You know, I've got two or three who, who, who are not. Uh, we're not in the squad now. It's, it's totally different. You know, we've had a few go down, and we've been unfortunate because Lloyd Jones has, has gone down, Marek's gone down, both same injury. You know, we've lost Union, Barry's unfortunate, Hilton. We, we've just got to be patient with, and, uh, and and so on. So it's you know, it, it's it's a host of of, of you, know, you look at three. And, and Sheehan actually didn't train this week, so you're looking at four of them got in the team of the year last year. And we haven't been able to you know, call on them as regular as we would like. Fingers crossed, uh, back to more fitness for, for next Saturday, back at Kenilworth Road and another full house. Yeah, God willing, and I said, big, big, big tough game against Charlton, but it, and a chance to test ourselves against one of the, the big boys of the, uh, of, of the league. So look, we're... We can't be in any, well, we can be in better form if, if, if we took our chances, but I'd say we're in wonderful form and I can't criticise them too much. And as I said, look, you've, if you come away and you get a point, any point away from home is, is a good point, especially when you come up the league. So we're, we're, we're adapting nicely and uh, I said I, I'm pleased with that. Lovely. Thanks very much, Nathan. Cheers.